equilibrium expressions are something we write when a reaction is at equilibrium. We'll know it's at equilibrium because the arrows will be drawn both ways. Um, sometimes you'll see it drawn like this, kind of like two arrows where the ends of the arrows got chopped off a little bit. Um, those are equal, uh, equilibrium arrows, those are also equilibrium arrows. Um, and so what that means is that this reaction can happen in the forward direction where A and B turn into C and D, or the reverse direction where C and D turn into A and B. Um, and actually what's happening is it's generally happening in both directions at equal rates. Um, and whatever that rate is, we end up with this kind of magic ratio of products to reactants um, that when it's at that ratio, we know we're at equilibrium. And that is represented by what we call Kc. The K just stands for constant. It's constant for a particular reaction at a given temperature. The C stands for concentration. You'll notice everything I'm going to use is going to be in brackets. Those brackets are um, telling us that we're using concentration or molarity values plugged in here. So the C is for concentration. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out what the equilibrium expression would be for this reaction. Um, and while I'm doing that, see if you can figure out where I'm pulling different numbers and values from. Okay, it's always going to be a fraction. For this particular reaction, I would put C in brackets to the fourth power. On the bottom, I would put A in brackets squared, B in brackets cubed. Okay, so things you may have noticed. For the numerator, I put the products on top. Products on the right-hand side of the arrow. Regardless of which direction the reaction is happening at, we still call the left-hand side reactants and the right-hand side products. We put the products over the reactants. And some of you might be wondering, well, where's D? Well, D is a solid. We exclude solids and pure liquids. So if anything has an S next to it or an L next to it, you would exclude them. So we exclude solids and pure liquids. Aqueous is okay. Gas is okay. So that's why these three were all included. Um, then you might notice that C was to the fourth power. That's because of its coefficient. A was squared. That's because of its coefficient. B was cubed. That's because of its coefficient. And then another thing to realize is that A and B, there's no plus sign there. They're multiplying together. So in summary, products over reactants don't include solids and liquids. Coefficients become exponents. No addition signs. Um, and that's it. That's just the equilibrium expression. What we'll work with next is how we plug numbers in. Um, but go to the try problems.